Brother Size, directed by Octavio Solis. Let's go. The Magic Theater is here at Fort Mason, second or third floor. Hi. How are you? Welcome. It's a packed house tonight. I'll just rifle through. Let's see. That's Rob Perret. Hello. And this is the second of a trilogy. I think it's great that local theaters are working together yes. and putting on these shows because I think there's lots of cross pollination from right. different um, theater goers. Cross promotion. I think it's really uh, a great idea. So. I think it's fabulous, and I think this is the first year they're trying this out. It's really big. You can see it's a packed house tonight. Trevor hates to be on camera. I do hate to be on camera. A cameo. I, I saw the first one opening night, so seeing the what, second one opening night. What did they think of the first one opening night? I loved it. Loved it? I loved it, absolutely. Awesome. I thought it was beautiful. Fabulous. Soundbite, master of the soundbite. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Yeah, and and as always, Clint, you gotta turn down the cameras. Turn down the cameras, even though I only have one. job and I am very serious and I'm Italian so don't mess around. <laughs> you have to be advocates. My character from this play goes on into the next one and so I mean I'm kind of lucky that Ochusi gets to carry on into the next play and it's me who's playing Ochusi so um, that's all I'm gonna give you gotta come and see it. They're, they wrestle with male identity very deeply and with uh, displacement and and discovery uh, in a very complicated way of, of who who you who one is and who one loves. I they did a fantastic job. I've I've, uh, I've seen Brother Size in uh, three different productions now. Well, actually, this is the fourth. I saw it at the McCarter. I saw the very first production at the Public, and I saw one at Steppenwolf. And this was as good, if not better, than anything that I've seen. It's really fantastic. They did a great job. You're the older brother, the responsible one. Yes. Um, we saw a little of him in the first play, but he really takes on the central one of the central roles in yes, this. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. Uh, you you see some of the some of the scars left from what happens in in the red and brown water. And uh, although all of these plays stand alone on their own, the, it's a little bonus if you've seen uh, either the red and brown water or. Marcus in relation to the brother's size because uh, you kind of get a feel for everything that happens within the whole trilogy and uh, with Ogun he is uh, he's very much a hardened character because of a what a, a what a lot of what happens in in the red and brown water the first play um, was done on a medium-sized stage at Marin this one's very stripped down intimate setting ACT is quite voluminous you know brother size was meant to be a little tiny sort of chamber piece Red and Red Water was different, and Marcus, they, he wrote them all at separate times. And I just felt, you know, I've done a lot of producing it on that stage, and I felt like Marcus, um, the sort of size of the characters and the richness of the language would hold that stage beautifully. All of Terrell's plays are very rhythmic, um, whether it, and they all incorporate music to some extent. Um, for us, you know, the biggest thing was to be able to really do justice to uh, the, the four arcs in the story and make sure that we told Oya's story as clearly as we could while backing it up with some really um, amazing soulful music underneath it. It is such a time to be a theater goer and to be an advocate. Find somebody who's never been to the theater and bring them.